Today we're talking about a topic that affects millions of people around the world, the myocardial infarction, also known as a heart attack. The main mechanism behind a heart attack is the atherosclerosis process. In the development of atherosclerosis there are several risk factors involved, such as high blood pressure, smoking, high level of cholesterol, sedentarism and being over 65 years old. The primary consequence of atherosclerosis is a buildup of cholesterol and other substances in the walls of the coronary arteries, leading to the formation of plaques. Over time, these plaques can become unstable and rupture, exposing the inner lining of the artery and triggering the formation of a blood clot. In some cases, the blood clot can be large enough to completely block the flow of blood to the heart muscle, leading to a heart attack. However, in other cases, when the obstruction is not big enough to induce the ischemic event, but reduced blood flow can cause dysfunctions of the myocardial muscle. Common symptoms of a heart attack include chest pain or pressure, shortness of breath, dizziness, and a cold sweat. Myocardial infarction is a serious medical condition that requires prompt attention. For the diagnosis, usually the doctor starts with quick review of the patient medical history. Then he has to run some blood tests to see the level of the cardiac troponin complex. Long story short, if the troponines are high, there is a good chance of having a myocardial infarction. Another investigation of great importance is the electrocardiogram which can be normal. But other times we can see a persistent ST elevation that is highly compatible with the heart attack diagnosis. Moving forward to the treatment, it usually involves a combination of medications such as aspirin, beta blockers, and ACE inhibitors, as well as changing some lifestyle habits such as smoking, unhealthy diet, and lack of physical exercise. That's it for today's video. If you found this information helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more health and wellness content.